Yeah, thanks, Kevin. As we head through the weekend, of course, all eyes on this storm system, and we're watching a couple different things. First of all, there's many different computer models that we're looking at when we're trying to make a forecast, right? So I'm showing you two different ones side by side here, so you can really see just how different some of these model runs are. This is the European model here. This is the GFS model. Notice here that you have these darker shades of blue with this particular model run, indicating some heavier snowfall. This is a bit of a stronger solution showing a stronger storm and the potential for some heavier bands of snow hugging eastern Massachusetts and clipping southeastern New Hampshire. And then you head over here and this is a weaker solution. So this model is saying, yeah, there's going to be some snow around, but it might not be as strong or it might not be quite as heavy as what that one is projecting. So a couple of different things that we're looking at. You can see, though, that this pink mixing line is pretty consistent between the two, hugging the Cape and the islands and just barely clipping parts of Connecticut and southern New England. And then the rain and green here staying out over the water. So the one consistency that we do know is that the precipitation type for us does look to be all snow, but the exact track and the intensity of that storm will determine exactly how much snow we get. So with this storm, a couple of different possibilities. If the low tracks a little bit further north, then it does mean we could see some wider spread, heavier snow. But if it stays far enough south, it takes some of that heaviest snow just to the south and we'll still get clipped with some snow, especially southern parts of the state. But the heaviest stuff will likely just barely miss us. So potential storm on Sunday timing late Saturday night through Sunday. That's what we know. Precipitation type all snow still watching for the exact track, which would then lead to the potential for those snowfall amounts. That's what we'll watch closely these next couple of days.